Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. What are you doing? Hello, this is the Hot Topic Show. What are you doing? We won't judge, but we're judging. It's going to be Drew I'm ready, let's get started, it's time for... Thank you so much. Everybody have a seat. Now, I don't know about you. I didn't watch the Oscars. Oh, please, Lifetime had on a movie called The Nanny. It, okay, it was brand new programming. It was the bomb. Google that. Number one. Number two, I couldn't focus on the Oscars because there is a nuclear explosion going on in hip hop. And I am laser focused on the fight between Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma. Remy Ma. Okay, both women have been on the show, although I know Remy a lot better than I know Nicki. Remy and I go way back, and, but I'm not choosing sides. All I'm saying is... Okay. And however, this is where it all started. For those of you who are not familiar, the feud started uh, last week. Uh, Nikki dropped lyrics uh, that people thought were aimed at Remy in a song. This is last week. And it only took Remy 48 hours to clap back. But, but in, in Nikki's, in Nikki's um, um, dig to Remy, which I don't know why you dig to Remy. She is from Castle Hill, okay? <laughs> if you don't know, you better ask somebody. <laughs> So Nikki goes, uh, you see, silly rabbit, you be the rap of queen, uh, the queen of rap, um, you gotta sell, you gotta get plaques. Well, I guess that's Nikki's dig that maybe, you know, Remy has not sold as many, you know, pieces of music as Nikki has, but she's, okay, in less than, 40, <laughs> in less than 48 hours and seven whole minutes. I am minding my own Jersey housewife business on Saturday afternoon. It was lovely, it was like 70 degrees in Jersey. I'm in the house, I'm minding my own business. Next thing you know, my phone is lighting up, lighting up, lighting up. I'm like, what? Oh, 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 well, now hold on now. I mean, even Ether, you know, when, when Jay-Z and Nas went back and forth with their beef, I think Nas's was four and Jay-Z's was five, but whatever. Remy needed seven whole minutes to get things off her chest. Because <laughs> uh, I guess that's how, you know, a woman works. She talked about everything on the track from Nikki sleeping with Drake, Gucci Man, radio executives, I guess to suggest extra airplay, um, Lil Wayne, and only song she ever wrote or was ever with was Trey songs. So this is what, uh, this is what uh, Remy said. Remy also claimed, Remy, you know that's not a claimation. 
about Nikki's butt. I mean, we, we, that, I, you know. Come on. But in it, she goes on to say that at one point she had apparently like some butt catastrophe. And while she was with her man, Meek Mill, that was at the time they were together. And Remy says in her diss track that she ran into Meek at All Star Weekend. And you know, and Meek said that, you know, he had to take 90 days off having sex with Remy. I mean, with um, Nikki, <laughs> because, because Nikki's butt, you know, when you all get stuff done, <clears throat> I guess, you know, you can't sit down, allegedly, you can't lay down. You can't do anything. <laughs> All I know is if Mariah, Ka oh, by the way, um, she also went on to, um, uh, Remy said something about Mariah Carey, not in a bad way, in a good way. If Mariah Carey and Remy get together, <laughs> fabulous, <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> now, you know, on one hand. On the other hand, you know, Nikki did hit back on Instagram by posting a story alleging that Remy and Fat Joe have poor album sales. You know what, Nikki, at this particular point, this is one of those things that money doesn't buy. You know, this is, this is one of those things that you have until midnight to clap back or everybody's looking at you like crazy. You have until midnight. Right. I am so focused, I can't do anything until I hear a clapation. And yep. what is she going, what are you going to say? Papoose is a good man. All right, and, and, and by the way, and also, Papoose might not be the main front man of, you know, you know, in rap, but Papoose is a very, very good writer. And I'm sure he helped his woman. Remy, I know you're talented, but what good is having a man around if he's not gonna help you dig your way out of beef? Yes. You know, and you know, so Papoose and Remy, congratulations. I'm sure the kids are probably wearing crowns at school today. Yeah. You know, Re Rem's, Rem's teenagers, you know what I mean? Like, yup, mom did that. <laughs> mom did it. And Remy, in my opinion, you need to have the entire week off. Your house needs to smell like fabuloso. <laughs> Everybody needs to cook, clean, and do things for you because you definitely tore that seven minutes up. I mean, you, you said it, girl. Yeah. If by chance, um, Nikki is able to get in touch with Safari, <laughs> then perhaps she has a horse in the race. Yeah. <laughs> Remy, uh, by the way, and Fat Joe were, are booked on our show for Friday. Oh. No, but I, but, I, but, I, but, I, but I swear to you, I swear to you that this bookation happened before this weirdation. <laughs> but now we have more layeration on the conversation. So they'll be here on Friday. You watch the Oscars. No, only the first half hour. And then I, I had to go right to bed. Right? I go to bed at nine o'clock. Okay. Yeah. I woke up to the whole big situation. What, the rap situation? No, no, the rap situation I knew over the weekend. Cause, oh yeah, Remy Ma dropped some bars on Nicki Minaj <laughs> and, and her ass dropped and it pops. <laughs> Yes! I know about that! Uh -huh. <laughs> this damn show. Yeah! So anyway, um, the Oscars made history with the most black wins ever, although Denzel didn't win, and he looked pissed. Um, the, uh, the, Four big winners of the night. By the way, uh, Norman,
Uh-huh. Um, so I'm reading over the weekend. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, I don't troll much on wendyshow.com. Right. But you did your Oscar predictions. <laughs> yeah. And I wasn't even focused on the predictions, and apparently neither was anybody else. Really? All they could talk about was, because you did them from your office, uh -huh. you need to clean your window. <laughs> the windows are <laughs> filthy. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Number two, um, they don't recognize you without a headset and your glasses. All right. And number three, <laughs> you look like Kanye West. <laughs> I don't get that. And, and finally, people wanted to pinch your cheeks. Aww. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, four big winners uh, of the night, Mahershala Ali for Moonlighting. There was a big deal made because he's the first Muslim winner. I had no idea. God, we are really behind in the times, aren't we, everyone? Yeah. Jesus. Viola Davis, you look gorge. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I've always wanted that type of hairstyle, you know, like the big swoop de doop bang and stuff. And then her dress, just beautiful and simple from fe for Fences. Congratulations, Viola. Emma Stone for La La Land. And the other Affleck, now we're gonna stop calling him that. His name is KC. Yeah. And he's got an Oscar yeah. for Manchester by the Sea. Yeah. <clears throat> And of course, the big Oscar moment was at the end of the show, uh, I was asleep. Uh, by then, the hors d'oeuvres were cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was the theme of the party? Oh, I went to a party and everybody brought like Oscar punned like dishes or whatever. So you had to bring a dish with an Oscar name. So I ate like Manchester by the seafood stew. <laughs> and then somebody brought La La Lasagna. <laughs> I brought OJ, which was made in America. <laughs> what? Was there a glove? Yeah, there was a, there was a glove on the top of the OJ I put. It didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Warren, by the way, Bonnie and Clyde, the original one, which doesn't come on enough. That's another movie that I always stop and watch, like Sex and the City, and I love, I, what? They were hot. They made you want to be a criminal and hold a gun. Anyway, uh, Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway presented uh, for Best Picture and they announced the wrong winner. Just take a look at this in case you haven't seen it enough. Go ahead. And the Academy Award For best picture. You're impossible. <laughs> Come on. La La Land. This is not a joke. Moonlight has won best picture. Moonlight, best picture. I mean, I don't really know what to say about that. I'm just observing how beautiful Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway look together, and I, was probably like a lot of you all, I hate to say this, but I thought that was a senior moment at first. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, they, like you, they get out there and they get all Clint Eastwood on us. <laughs> but no, that, that wasn't the case. I mean, I would just be happy to be standing on the stage. Apparently the, um, the, the, the Moonlight people, they were on stage for like two and a half minutes. A few of them got to give speeches. That would have been good enough for me. <laughs> Especially because this is history, you know, this, is, this debacle will go down in history. Um, oh, hell, I don't, I'm trying to act like I care. I don't, I don't give a damn. Okay, I, I really don't care. I wasn't watching. I wasn't watching. You know. <clears throat> I mean, I know you watch. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I do have a TV watching, uh, excuse me, a movie going uh, partner now that will be going to the movies with me for every single one. So I promise you by next Oscars, I'm gonna be on the... <laughs> you know what? Maybe. I'll be, maybe I'll be on the beat. I just can't help but think what Nicki Minaj is doing right about now. Because... <laughs> yeah. 
Because I know people who know her and the whole commute this morning was back and forth. I listened to the song like five more times than the other 15 that I listened to it over the weekend, the Remy Ma song. I'm just like, damn, Remy, you killed. <laughs> Nikki, but you know, you gotta come back. And here's the deal. Don't talk about, you know, record sales because we already know that you outsell. Don't talk about body because um, unlike a lot of people, Remy didn't buy hers. Okay, that, that, that's a, I, no, I said a lot of people. Me, you, 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 greens, lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, you know. I mean. Remy is just, you know, corn fed for this. So don't talk about her body and don't talk about her man and don't talk about her money. And, Cause you know what? She had a family that held her down. And, oh, you know what? I do think I would love to know more details about the night of the gun, where the gun went off, you know, and, and that's why Remy went to jail. Um, I, maybe if, the, I mean, you know, you have to do your research cause Remy clearly did hers. She didn't just jump in. She, she took 48 hours. That was 24 to research people who know you, Nikki. Okay, and, and they told stories that apparently they've wanted to tell since forever. So now, but you only have until midnight. You, so, um, and, and I, people that, that know her, um, this Nikki said that she's probably in a hotel someplace crying her eyeballs out. And, and hanging up on people and telling everybody she doesn't need them. And she doesn't, but if you don't clap back, that's, for our, that, that's like for top 40 chicks. Hip hop is about the battle. Yeah. So you got, to, you got to get to the essence of it. And you, you've got, uh, what, nine hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> or something like that. Oh, I'm so agitated. <laughs> By the way, you guys, I told you Beyonce was not going to be at Coachella. Who carries twins? You know, and, and when she's six months pregnant, you know, of course the doctor's gonna order her to sit down. I don't know why she signed the contract to begin with when she found out she was. <gasps> I was just laughing because I was saying as soon as you take the pregnancy test, I was cleaning out underneath my cabinet over the weekend. I found five pregnancy tests <laughs> and I looked at them for a moment and the, the data's still good. I was gonna throw them away though on account of, <laughs> but I said, you never know. And, <laughs> and I put them right back on. <laughs> anyway. She'll still get her million dollars because there was some sort of million dollar um, insurance uh, thing that they took out, probably on purpose, knowing that this is a quick payday. You know, the test reads positive, and clearly in April, when Coachella is, um, you, you know, I won't be there, not even with a singular child, much less a double child. People who bought their tickets are really upset. Well, you know what, Beehive? This is your time to get into the groove of the entire music fest. It's not all about Beyonce, not on this day. It is about people. I mean, you know, I've never been to Coachella, uh, but I would certainly would love to go because everybody smokes weed. <laughs> And if you're not smoking weed, you're catching a serious contact. Um, you, you can you buy your booze and flasks are legal. So you buy one of those flasks that goes over your shoulder like this where you're sipping all day. And it's like 80 degrees and, and it's not like the fashion police so you can wear what you want, there's no pressure. So it, this is a day where, you know, Beehive, if you only bought tickets to see Beyonce, then you're missing the point of Coachella. You know, it's all dirty and smelly and you come home with mud on your feet and stuff, they tell me. It just sounds like, for one day, it sounds really, are you too cool to put on your birthday crown? <laughs> you don't wanna mess up your hair? But it's your birthday. You know what we do here. Okay, okay. Yeah, but, but, the, but the hair is fabulous. Thank you. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And sir's friend. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
So did you see Mama, Mama June's show on Friday night? <laughs> Clap if you saw it. I missed it too. <laughs> All right, it's called From, um, From Not to Hot. And Mama June is supposedly down to a size four now. <laughs> now hold on, they're stringing us along. Some of my bureau representatives watched and um, allegedly a lot of you watched. The fans are very convinced that she lost the weight. Um, then film scenes wearing a fat suit. Okay, just take a look. How nervous are you, honestly? And don't be saying I'm okay. I'm gonna be fine, y'all, golly. I've already talked to the doctor. I feel confident. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't feel confident. Y'all got to understand that, you know, this isn't like something that I'm taking light. I'm going to be okay. You know, Pumpkin and Alana, I know y'all have concerns. It's going to be okay. I'm going to come back and we're going to live, you know, a better life. And that's just the way it's going to be. What the Norbit is going on? <laughs> Remember Eddie Murphy is Norbit? Right? Okay. So I missed the show, but I am back in. I'm gonna watch it this coming Friday. And the reason why is because who's been the only person, not even you all, saying Mama June is a beautiful woman? Beautiful. Me. Said it, oh, oh really? You're gonna turn on me now? All right, let me, tell, let me remind you, and I can pull the receipts if you give me until midnight. Um, but. I think that Mama June is a very good looking woman. It's just that she, she was grossly obese and she could have afforded to lose a few pounds. So she got some sort of surgery. And um, you know, I guess they're making us wait until the last episode. I think there's six episodes of this particular reality show. But you know, they, this right here and also the lace front of it all. Back when she was talking to, um, you know, with the black roots, this looks like natural hair. But the first one looked like a lace. She is getting her glam on, okay. So Mama June, check you out another time, you and your fat suit. It's time for Wendy's Tropical Punch giveaway. Hit it. scary when you came out and the mouth was closed. Oh yeah, no, I couldn't breathe, but I'm okay. Yeah, I, I like it better like that, just so I know it's you, Suzanne. Yeah, okay, yeah, I don't mean to scare you. Hip -hop you probably thought Suzanne. I was a ferocious dinosaur or something. Okay, all right, well look, let's get uh, Mig, uh, Migdalia on the phone. She's from uh, New York City. Uh, and uh, here I am. Migdalia, Suzanne? Hello. Migdalia? Who's this? Oh, how you doing? It's Wendy. Wendy? Oh my God. What, Wendy, really? Yes, oh, and Miss oh, Suzanne is here too. From the Wendy show? Yes, yes. Oh my God, I can't believe this. There's oh only God. two Wendy's, one makes burgers and one makes funny. <laughs> Hi. Love you, Wendy. Thank you, Magdalia. Listen, um, you're our uh, contestant on today's Tropical Punch giveaway. You watch our show every day here in the city on WNYW, correct? Correct. Whose side are you on, Remy Maz or Nicki Minaj? Uh, Nicki Minaj. Okay. Well, at, at midnight, we'll find out exactly what that means. <laughs> in the meantime, right now, you're in the winner's circle. You pick a number between one and 20, okay? Okay, um, 17. Oh, 17. <clears throat> Go ahead. You know, I'm just so stunned. Migdalia's <laughs> voice doesn't sound like the way she looks, correct? Medalia, you sound so very, very youthful. I am. Yes, you are. <laughs> Go ahead, Suzanne. Drum roll, please! What's my number 17? What's my number 17? It's a royal club! Oh! oh Thanks to Royal Caribbean, we're giving you a seven-night vacation on board Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas, the world's most adventure-packed cruise ship. Highlights include the ultimate abyss, the tallest slide at sea, robot bartenders at Bionic Bar, gourmet dining by celebrity chef Jamie Oliver, plus smash hit Broadway musical Grease, and much more. Yeah! Now, exactly. Magdalia, Magdalia, have you ever cruised before? 
Yes, I have. Okay, well, this one's on the house, so. I know. <laughs> which which make it, okay, all right. Um, Melissa Rivers was a guest on our Friday show. Yes. She told us that her boyfriend, Mark, got an apology gift for her. What yes. was the gift? 15 seconds and go. Yes. Uh, a Louis Vuitton bag. Yes! Yeah. Enjoy your Christmas medallion. And make sure that you watch our show every day because we might be calling you next. We've got more great show for you today. Up next, everybody, my style squad is breaking down the fashion hits and misses from last night's Oscars. Yeah. So grab a snack and come on down.